Hundreds of thousands of birds die in the U.S. each year from flying into windows. But as Nicole Killian shows us, one group is working to save them as more and more states adopt bird safety measures. On any given morning, Lizbeth Fuse walks the streets of the nation's capital. It's become a kind of personal mission. That mission, as a volunteer citizen scientist with the group Lights Out DC, is to find birds. But this bird watching expedition is not what you might expect. In most cases, Lizbeth and her team are not looking to the sky. There's a bird. But to the ground, collecting dead fowl after they've collided with buildings. This is a huge problem. They estimate that over but somewhere between 300 and 1 billion birds a year die in the United States from window collisions. And these are migratory birds. So we are interested in documenting this problem so that um, people become aware of the issue. It's an issue that motivated the redesign of the birdhouse at the National Zoo, which features dozens of species native to North America. It's one of the first in the country to create a structure that's completely bird friendly. What makes it bird friendly? What makes it bird friendly is you can see the two inch horizontal stripes. And so birds perceive that as something they can't fly through. Sarah Halliger is a curator for the exhibit. Most birds are hitting glass because they see some sort of reflection and they think that's a tree in the glass. And so they want to fly to that tree. They're usually flying at very high speeds. And so then they hit the glass and it's either a lethal strike or uh, they're injured. Halliger says about half of those collisions occur in homes and are easily avoidable. Put some little paint or, or get your kids involved and paint this window. Um, you just want to stop birds from hitting. Anything that reduces the reflection will stop birds from hitting glass. So That's putting a dot point. like this is, reduces a reflection. As long as it's appropriately spaced. Nearly two dozen cities and states have adopted bird safe measures such as requiring buildings to use bird friendly glass or reduce artificial lighting. Efforts welcomed by Lisbeth. We're part of this problem and we could be part of the solution. Solutions taking flight to keep nature's aviators soaring. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington.